What's up everybody, back again today, and we are going to be taking off the loud, cheap, and obnoxious GP Shorty exhaust. Now this is kind of the first mod I did on my bike. It was cheap, makes your bike sound a lot better, but it's very loud and obnoxious. I've had it on for about a year, and if you're going anywhere for, you know, over 30 minutes and you don't have earplugs in, it's, you know, blowing out your ears. I had to switch back to the stock when I went on that trip to New Mexico, but today I got something in from Frida Performance and we're gonna go ahead and put those on and test it out. So let's go ahead and get into that. As far as exhaust, I spent a while looking around for what I wanted to do. I was thinking about the Freedom Performance Combat Exhaust. I know a couple of people that have it and it looks great, but I've heard a lot about it scraping, you know, taking corners and stuff. So I thought, okay, maybe not that. Then I thought the Two Brothers Racing Exhaust, I wanted a black exhaust. I heard a lot about the paint coming off and it looking faded and stuff after a short amount of time. So ventured away from the two-in-one exhaust and I thought, you know what? the performance you'd get out of it, having to tune your bike, put a new intake in and all that. I thought about that and then I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just stick with slip-ons. So I went ahead and got the Freedom Performance slip-on exhaust. And as far as like putting on an exhaust on your bike, a slip-on exhaust is relatively easy to do. I really like the look of it, so we're gonna see how that turns out. Okay, now these GP shorties, they're probably around a hundred bucks, I believe. They're essentially just straight pipes on your bike. There's no internal baffling you can buy. Little thing you can pop in there, doesn't really do much to the sound, doesn't really do much with anything. They get the job done if you don't wanna run stock exhaust, essentially. Cheap, efficient, a lot of people have these. Not against them, but is there better products out there? 100%. All right, let's see what we got for Freedom. Now, I've already opened this and gone through it a little bit. Now, I already went ahead and threw the heat shields on, on this one. Still need to tighten them up. But essentially, I'll go on like so. Now, if you look inside, you can tell that there is like little fins and stuff. That's kind of some internal baffling. They also sell a quiet baffle on their website that you can throw in these if you want to make them a little more quiet. I ended up having to take the heat shield off to see if I can get this thing on there, man. It is a tight fit. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh my god, that was so much harder than I thought it would be. I'm not 100% sold on how I'm going to get this bottom one on. It's a lot tougher than it looks. So we got the exhaust on. Let's go ahead and start it up and I'll show you guys what it sounds like. I'm liking it a lot. It has a good deep throaty sound to it. I would say it's just as loud as the GP shorties, but they have more of a bassiness to it. It's a lot more guttural. As I was going down the road, I hit 75, 80 and it's not piercing my ears. I even wore my three quarter helmet and totally fine. No earplugs or anything. Now, if I was to do that for over an hour or so, who knows?
you guys enjoyed this, please give the video a like and subscribe. It helps the channel a bunch and there's going to be a lot more coming out. I plan to get back to making videos weekly. It's been real hot here in Texas lately. I mean, triple digits every day. I want to start going and making some more content and doing some cool stuff. So keep an eye out for that and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.